Fan life, fan life, fan life. Fan life, fan life, fan life. It's just incredible. TV. Sarah, what year is your van? Crouch over to filming day. Yeah. What year is your van? 2008. 2008 Kia. Yep. What's the name of the van? Sedona? Uh, Kia Sedona. Yeah, Sedona. Nice. Cool. Hey, and this got you from Florida to Vancouver. Yeah, I went all the way, all the south of the US and then the west coast and I am in Vancouver now. Awesome, 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 cool. So this is your great little mini home. How long have you been sleeping in this? Uh, around two months. Two months? Yeah. Yeah, you look like you've, you've moved right in, you're settled in. It's my home. Yeah, you I like it? Sell it but I kind of have to. Yeah, so you're uh, planning to head back to, where are you from again? I'm French. And you're from the real French place. Uh, it's called France. <coughs> Sorry to everyone in Quebec. <laughs> How was the drive from France? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, wet. Yes. I think it's because of the ocean. Like, <laughs> That's probably why. I, I heard it was extra wet this summer. All across, yeah. <laughs> Like those inches of water that just piled up and then you have like fishes and it's weird. <laughs> well, at least you can eat good. <laughs> All right, and so your plan is to um, drive this back to the U.S., sell it, yeah. and then go uh, get on a plane and go and back to France. Home, yeah. right? I'd like to travel more with her, but I have to go home. So, so uh, you built it all out with awesome storage. You got a bed there yeah. at the back. You even have a little stove, don't you? Uh, it's just like the the regular gas one with the little thing that you can put on top and then... Right, cool, but the, because though. then you can take it outside. That's yeah. You get that advantage. All these people in their small vans that are cooking outside on nice days like this, but I have to go inside with my RV. You can actually hide yourself when you're not allowed to have any kind of fire. That too, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> awesome. How many kilometers does this have on it? Uh, it's in miles. It's in miles because it's a U.S. vehicle. That's right. Uh, 131. 131,000 miles. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna put 5,000 more because I have to drive back to Montreal and then New York. But okay, so you're gonna go the uh, you're doing like the loop then, right? Yeah, so. I'm just not ending it because I bought the car in Florida and I'm ending up in like New York and don't have time for the East Coast. Okay, so if anybody along the East Coast is interested. Buying this van, so so once you're in the states, basically you'll sell it to whoever, whenever, wherever. Uh, I'd be in New York around the beginning of October. October. I, bit, I am a little bit flexible, but I am flying out of New York on the 11th right. of October, so it has to be before. Has to be before that. Okay, so. But other than that, um, this car is just really nice. You have like the two seat that goes there, and everything that goes in the back. Yeah. Uh, they are yours if you need them. <laughs> right. So if you want the seats, now they probably anyone before, watching yeah. this is going to be more interested in a small stealth camper van yeah. more than anything. So it's already you know partially converted, but I mean someone could always just tear all that out and use it as a work van as well. So. Yeah. And yeah. nothing is like attached to the car. It's not moving an inch, but everything can go out pretty easily, and everything is just like screwed in. So just unscrew, and you can move everything the way you want it. Cool, cool. And you have some more storage in the bag. Right, under the floor, right? Yeah. You have your secret uh, um, secret storage under the floor. You, sure, yes, take a look. And there's Manfred. Hey, <laughs> he's in every video. Hey, sure. So, you can just go here. You have like all of the extra storage down there. I have totally like that. my dog, uh, my dog thing, and everything that just go off. Like you have three, one here, one here, and one here. You can literally park this anywhere. Yeah, I've been living in Venice Beach for a week. Yeah, like, Venice Beach for a week, and you're not allowed to sleep in your car over there, and no one bothered us because they didn't know I was sleeping in there. So right. That was pretty cool. And you got that guard dog there. Oh yeah, it's very mean. Yeah. Very <laughs> <dog. laughs> you gonna say hi? Oh, oh, look at that! Look at the tail. Yeah, you're, 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 you're so. Oh, you're so vicious. Oh yes, we're gonna have to put a muzzle on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, Great little traveling hound. So, any issues that you know of? Uh, I didn't have any. No. I drove it from Florida and... Well, it's a fairly new vehicle. Yeah. Looks in good shape, so... There you go, stealth camper. Now, what are you asking? That's the most important thing. Uh, I'm asking 4000 I'm open to any offer. 4000 asking price, US or Canadian? 
U.S. U.S. Okay, because yeah. you're going to be in the states to sell it. That makes because sense. I'm going to be in the states. And it is registered to Florida, so that makes it, it a lot easier if you're in the states, obviously. Yeah. So. And I have a friend that is like working with vehicles and everything. They can help us do all the paperwork if we need to. So right. That's cool. I know a lot of people watching this are in their minivans right now, and other people too looking to do the minivan van life. So. Here's an idea for y'all, and it's probably pretty damn good on fuel, isn't it? It's alright. Yeah, well, relative, it's compared to what I'm driving. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, a Stockholm minivan, it's... Um, I'm used to like really, really small cars in which you cannot even live in it, but so I'm actually like... For sure. Car, but it's, it's really good on fuel. Like, yeah. I have spent two-thirds of what I thought I would spend. Two thirds of what you thought you would spend. So, no, if you got a full size van, you probably would have spent fifty uh, percent more than you thought you would have yeah, spent. Yeah, that's usually the way so it is. I'm, I'm pretty good. Cool. So yeah, it, it it can be really comfy. It's really cozy. It is. Yeah, and it's actually pretty cool in there, and the sun's out too. I'm amazed. So you just got to get ventilation, and you're okay. Yeah, my yeah. my pretty my my dog is pretty big, and we've been leaving both of us in there, and without any problems. So the, the car is big enough. Oh, you She'll can... even throw in these towels for the right price, guys. Definitely, yeah. and you can uh, like I will let the I don't know how you call that. You can open the like the door behind you. Right. So this is a sliding door. So it actually opens up. Of course, most minivans have doors on both sides. And like she was explaining to me, when she's sitting inside here, oops, <laughs> and she opens that door. Look at that. Now she's got a little place to sit down and work on her computer, especially so those at the beach. Two go the other all the way. And this one is individual, and the other one on the other side is individual as well. Right. So if you have stuff that needs to stay outside, this one stays outside. Yeah. And I got all my shoes here and... All your shoes. So you got... You, your shoe store... You're a girl though. Your shoe storage has its own accessible door from outside. That's great. Because if I'm mad at yeah. because of the dog, I don't want to go in the car with my shoes. So I can just like... Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then the rest of the car is not muddy. That is brilliant. That's the outside side. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It does not come with the sticker. Sorry. For the right price, it might. For the right price, it might, yeah. I'll throw in another sticker, too. <laughs> you can definitely do that. Not bad at all. You know, I see people in full-size campers that are just pigsties, but you're keeping this really nice and tidy. I, I personally find a small space easier to maintain because it's so easy to... or You have to organize everything, and everything's got its place. And I have too much storage anyway, so... More than you need, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's cozy. I like it. And, like, this one is nice because you can... You have access to everything that is fresh. You have, like... You're in hot places. You have, like, your cold drink next to you. Ah, it's a cooler. Yeah. And it's really good. Like, it's a very good one. It, it stays in the car. It's a very good cooler. Hmm. Like, I had stuff stay fresh in there for, like... Two to three days, no problem at all. Hmm. That's Without better than some people's ice boxes. Like, yeah. yeah. And then if you want to go like eat outside, you just have to grab it and just go. Grab it and go. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This I had, is. Like, uh, I, I took the console out just to put the cooler in. Right. Yeah. So you, you took the console so out for that. Now, that, of course, if you want the console, she still has that too. Yeah. Or she can get uh, tell you where that is. All that stuff's in storage. Very cool. Well, if any of you are interested in this awesome little Kia Sedona, halfway converted, house on wheels, um, click the button or click the link in the description below. It goes to my contact form on my website. Send me a message. I'll put you in touch with the lovely Sarah here. For the van. For the van. Okay. <laughs> okay, in case any of you are wondering too, she says that, because she is flying overseas, that basically everything in the van is, is available with the van if you want it as well. Everything that you want will be yours beside most of my clothes. Yeah, my not her clothes, but yeah. And my dog. The dog is mine. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> okay, you don't get the dog, you don't get her clothes, but everything else that you see in the van uh, is yours for the taking if you want. There you go. You already got your dishes, you got your little stove. Awesome. Keep on walking in the free world. This is Camper Con.
on today at Spanish Banks. Today's event brought together van dwellers from across North America who share a nomadic rent-free lifestyle. This Labor Day long weekend, it's we're making van life great again at CamperCon! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! September 2nd in Vancouver! Get all the details online at justincredible.tv.